Let, let's talk more about what's going on this morning with Sonova's Trust Portfolio Manager, Dan Morgan, joining us right now. Dan, good to see you. Thanks very much. Hi, Maria. Assess the backdrop for us. We're, we're, we're seeing revenue warnings here, uh, and technology obviously was all the way up here, and it is coming down uh, last week or so. What's going on? Well, Maria, you know, the, the overall view of the market in terms of technology obviously has kind of turned negative. But we have to bear in mind these stocks have had such huge runs over the last two or three years. I think it's only natural that we get a bit of a pullback. I'm not as concerned as maybe the street is on these most earnings, most recent earnings reports that have come out. Um, I get it. The revenue guidance going in the next quarter was a little bit light. But if we kind of parse through uh, some of these businesses within the big umbrella of these companies, they actually did pretty well. They did pretty well, but but people are worried about costs going up, and we're hearing the uh, expectations that revenue estimates are too high. So they may be doing well, but are, are they doing well enough for what the market is expecting? Well, for example, we look at Amazon, Maria, in terms of the most recent quarter. We actually saw operating profit double. It was 6.6%. They showed tremendous strength in, in some of their you know, newer businesses like AWS and also other revenues, which is their advertising business. So, um, yeah, maybe the estimates have to come back a little bit. Maybe everyone got a little too euphoric in terms of the expectations. But I don't think we're at the point now where we hit the, the panic button and say, hey, we got to get out of tech and move on. The sector is going down the tubes like, let's say, back in 2008 or 2000. All right. Dan, a question for you. What, what kind of multiples are we looking at now, uh, it, factoring in these assessments, reassessments of next year's prospects maybe? Where is Amazon selling and where, where is Google selling on, in terms of P.E.? Well, there's no doubt Amazon carries a huge multiple, as does Netflix. I mean, you're looking at, you know, 150-plus times earnings. Even if you go out to 2019, you're looking at huge multiples on Amazon. Now, Google, though, is much more priced better. You're looking at probably 20 to 25 times earnings uh, going into uh, fiscal year 19. So th there is some big differences between Apple uh, and you look at Amazon or Apple versus Google and so forth. I mean, Apple trades at 15 times earnings. So yeah. um, we can't take a blanket statement and say, you know, these stocks are all trading way too high. Yeah, yeah. Netflix and Amazon are huge multiples, but... Apple and Google and some of these other players are not. Yeah, it's a good point, Michael. Dan, I know we're talking about tech today. It's the middle of earnings season. But are, are there other sectors you're looking to or you're steering investors towards in terms of trying to find growth? Well, you know, in terms of growth for the S&P 500, as you guys have reported, I mean, the third quarter is probably going to be 20 percent, you know, right now. Going forward in terms of areas that I think are interesting, like biotech is still interesting. That's a sector that's been under the weather uh, recently because of issues with patents and so forth. But I think there's some good valuations there, uh, Biogen, Amgen, and so forth. So there are other sectors away from just tech that I think are interesting. Do you want to put money to work in this market, even though things are so nervous? I mean, would you buy today with a market that's likely going to open down about 200 points? Well, Maria, I haven't really been buying a lot of stocks in the last three or four months, to be quite honest with you, with all these new highs and trillion-dollar marks with, uh, you know, Amazon and Apple. So I'm looking for opportunities. Yeah. Uh, I have money on the sideline right now, Maria. I'm ready to put to work. So I'll watch these valuations. No one's going to guess the bottom. But eventually some of these stocks are going to start to really make sense again. And I don't, think the, I don't think the backdrop has really changed. I really think we're going through a correction right now. I think we've got to be patient. I don't think it's a, a time where we change the entire preface behind investing in equities at this point. But, you know, you've got, a, you, you've got a backdrop where interest rates are going up, and you do have alternatives right. now in the short end of, of fixed income, 3% on the two-year. Do you think this is an allocation shift going on, broadly speaking, in this market? Well, Maria, if we continue to see the Federal Reserve raise rates the way that they've guided to going forward, which is going to put us at, what, two and a quarter, two and a half on Fed funds? Right. Uh, going into the December uh, meeting and then maybe two and three quarters and three percent. If that happens, obviously that's going to have a huge negative effect on the equity markets. But we're still okay, mm. I think, at this point. But anything beyond this is really going to be detrimental. And obviously President Trump has come out and commented on that. Uh, all right. We, we, we will leave it there. I mean, Dan says that, the, that nothing has changed in terms of the storyline, but we know that we're getting revenue misses. Right, so, major revenue misses, and, and, and in terms of the overall percentage yeah. of companies missing revenue, it's been growing as we moved on in the season, and 
Uh, this will be the biggest revenue miss overall for the S&P potentially this year so far. And expectations for the Fed have been coming down for December. I wanted to point that out. Mm. Okay, we will we will watch that. Dan Morgan, thank you very much.